Oh, here comes DOT. Here comes DOT. Oh no, he's getting behind me. Oh no. What's DOT doing? Uh oh. Uh oh. Put my seatbelt on, man. Why is he behind me? Oh no. Oh no. What is up guys, Dave back again from the Trump Vlog and um, we are in Columbus right now, man. Columbus, Ohio, headed to Taylor, Michigan, to the Taylor, Michigan terminal. There's downtown uh, Columbus right over there. We're right in the thick of things at about 7.30 in the morning this morning, so it's uh, pretty busy trying to get out of Columbus. Then we'll have a nice little easy drive getting through. I think I gotta get over here. Yeah, I do. This is an exit only. Somebody let your boy over. Somebody be nice. This might be a nice little car. Nice little car, please. Please, come on. Go, 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 CRV. <laughs> all right. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So we'll have a nice little easy drive through Toledo later. We're only about three hours away from Taylor. Uh... And the reason we are going to Taylor, Michigan is to turn in my truck because I am leaving CFI. Maybe a shocker for some of y'all like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> You're leaving CFI again? Because I already left CFI once about, I don't know, a year and a half ago or something like that. And then I come back and now I'm actually gonna be leaving again. And I know y'all are thinking, why, why? What's wrong, what happened? Well, nothing necessarily happened. I just think there might be some better fits for me out there, man. CFI is the only company that I've ever driven with. Um, starting my career here and all that good stuff. But I think it's time for me to move on, man. I think there might be some better options for me and better fits. So that's really it, man. So there you guys go. <laughs> So yeah, that's the gist of it, boys. I'm leaving again <laughs> for the second time now. So anyways, we are about three hours away from our Taylor Terminal right now. Um, I'm gonna have to get over here soon. Let's make sure I can. Yeah, we're good. Okay. But yeah, I just got off of home time, guys, because I cleaned out my truck. So there's not much in my truck at all right now. I can show y'all when I, is this an exit only? Or is it the other lane? Uh, what is it? Okay, it's, wait, is it this one? Is it this one? Is this the exit? No, 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 it's, okay. <laughs> it was hard to tell on the curve which lane it was. I was like, no, it's not this one. I just got over. Anyways, yeah, I just come off a of home time because usually if you, you know, leave, you want to clean out your truck. So then when you drop it off, you don't have as much crap to lug around. So I had planned on quitting on this home time and I went home, cleaned out the truck, and I'm just bare bones right now. Like I have a backpack with me right now with like a change of clothes, like my vape juice and batteries, my camera equipment, cause I wasn't sure what I was gonna film with y'all on this trip. Um, I'll probably do a little filming at the Taylor Terminal back in and saying goodbye to the truck again. And speaking of which, I actually have some footage of the other day when I was in Joplin. I wanna show y'all this, but my very first truck, that I got from CFI. My very first solo assigned truck, 51014. Y'all remember it from when I quit CFI last time and I would say goodbye to her. She will always have a special place in my heart, man. Eventually that truck's gonna be no longer on the road or at least no longer with CFI. But man, that truck's always gonna hold a special place in my heart. And I found her at CFI randomly when I was walking through the yard and there she was. I'm gonna show you all that right now. Boys, holy crap. My original truck, 51014. Still has the chain, oh no, they've actually hung the chains this time. This was my original truck. Is anybody in it? I don't think so. I almost wanna look in it. I mean, it's gotta be the same truck, right? They didn't just rebrand another one. It looks the same as my truck. I was so excited when I saw it, man. No, nobody's living in here. It's cleaned out, man. That was Dave's original truck, bro. They cleaned the seats. <laughs> Remember I had vape juice all over the freaking seats, dude? That is awesome, man. 
whenever I became a truck driver, my very first assigned truck, good old 51014, man. <laughs> it still has my GoPro mount on it, bro. <laughs> Look, guys. I got the mount. Holy smokes. <laughs> it even had my GoPro mounts on the side mirror that I put on there nearly two years ago, man. That's crazy. They never took them off. It's pretty hilarious, man. But yeah, I liked seeing her again. Nobody was in it. I think it was waiting to get a sign or waiting for some work or something. I don't know. But it was all cleaned out inside. Now, this has been a pretty good truck here, man. The 71394. She's been a good truck. Of course, it doesn't have the sentimental value that 51014 had. I'll tell you all that right now. I don't think any truck will ever have that sentimental value. All the crap I went through with that truck. <laughs> but... This one's been good, man. It hadn't had any problems, nothing at all. Of course, she only has 181,000 miles on her now. But yeah, it's been a pretty good truck. I've been pretty lucky with both of my trucks. Also, guys, I got a new GPS, as you can see. It's the Garmin uh, Dezel OTR810. The thing is nice, man. Really nice. Way better than the old one that I had. <laughs> I like how it has like the little picture in picture right there and it kind of shows me the lane that I need to be in while still showing me everything else in full. Um, it's way more detailed than my old one. Okay, keep right and then keep left. Yeah, we got to keep this middle lane for 0 0.3 miles to take US 23 north toward Delaware. God, that sun is bright this morning. Staying here, staying here. Oh, we're stopping, we're stopping, we're stopping, we're stopping. Okay. It is so busy up in Columbus today, man. I'm ready to get up out of here. By the way, they deadheaded me. They didn't even have me pick up a load um, coming out of home time to bring back the truck. They was just like, yep, just deadhead to Taylor. I was like, okay, sounds good. <laughs> oh, trying to get up this hill, man. Even empty, I'm struggling. Okay, so I'm keeping the very right of the lane here because... There we go. Okay, we're good. Oof. <laughs> so many cars and people buzz around, man. I'm doing my best. It's been a stressful last freaking morning, man. Ever since I left the house, it was just super heavy fog. It's finally lifted now that the, you know, sun's up and everything, but it was just super heavy fog. A lot of construction zones. Then take the first left. It's just been a bit of a pain, man. Turn left at the traffic light GPS. That's what you think I need to do. <laughs> Look, that's my old GPS over there. I, I got it as a backup just to make sure this one's doing pretty good. Just goes to show you how much better this OTR 810 is than that one. <laughs> it's telling me to take lefts at traffic lights and everything else. And this one's like, nah, dog, just keep going straight for 58 miles. You good? <laughs> No, we're not even on North High Street. We're on 23. Oh, God. Dang, this one didn't lose satellite reception, but that one did in the tunnel. Interesting. It's a, it's a good comparison, man, for the OTR 810. <laughs> I'm just listening to this thing go over there. Uh, I was mostly following street signs through everything, so I wasn't too worried about where I was going. I've also been this route before, so I kind of know it a little bit. That was a nice Porsche, man. I like that color. Ooh, the car pulled right out front there. Porsche is going too fast coming up to a red light, though, man. Porsche shouldn't be going fast. If you own a Porsche, you should baby it in the right lane. Ain't that right? <laughs> oh, man.
<laughs> when possible, I'm gonna make a U-turn and take the first left GPS. Sounds great. <laughs> she don't know what she's doing, man. <laughs> well, we made it out of Columbus and there's a rest area coming up in about three miles and I'm gonna try to find me a little parking spot in because I gotta pee. <laughs> I think this is the rest area sign here, I think. Yep, rest area one mile. Get them Jake brakes, throw that blinker on. <laughs> Car got around me. <laughs> he was just cruising behind me, but then he was like, oh crap, this truck's slowing down. Yeah, I wonder if we should, shouldn't chance it and just park here on the side behind these other trucks. It's probably what I'm gonna do. Oh, there is, this is a, uh, side parking up here i guess is this truck parking up here on the right right yeah no trucks to the right into the car parking lot but we can park over here looks like everybody's already left for the night if it even filled up at all who knows so heck yeah man we can park right here perfect i'm gonna show you guys the cleaned out truck man <laughs> y'all want to see it all right guys let's hit some light and here she is back to basics man everything is out make sure i got everything out of here yep everything's out of there i'm <laughs> just making sure i just got a few waters in here for today i got four waters left um oh, i didn't even turn my inverter back on but i don't really need it i don't got nothing plugged in back here except for my phone charger I left this in here just in case I had to sleep in the truck again. Didn't even bring no blankets, no nothing, because when I get a rental car or however I get home, I'm not sure if CFI is going to give me something yet or not. Um, Tim basically told me to talk to him today with a better ETA of when I would be there and see what they can do. So I'm not sure what's going to happen with that, but I went ahead and reserved a rental car myself. Um, which is kind of hard to find a one-way rental these days guys it really is like because I'm trying to go from Taylor well I think it's Westland Michigan is the closest one there's like a budget it's like hundred and thirty dollars for one day but I was like well I'm gonna just go ahead and reserve it obviously you don't pay right to begin with with rental cars like you can reserve it without paying and cancel anytime so if CFI doesn't get me one I go I got when I went ahead and got one reserved so I'm trying to just think ahead so I'm not stranded in freaking Taylor, you know what I mean? And I think Billy Joe talked to him and said, uh, you know, if she could get a rental. And I think that they said um, that they're usually doing bus tickets now because they were doing rentals for COVID or whatever. So now I guess they're doing bus tickets. And if they try to tell me, take a bus ticket, I'm just going to go ahead and rent the car. Because, uh, I mean, I don't have a problem riding on a bus, but the thing is, is it can take a long time to get back because you got other stops and things. Like, it can literally take a couple days, you know what I mean? So I'd rather not do that. I'd rather just chalk up the 130 bucks and freaking get my own car and go if CFI doesn't get me a car. But I don't know what's going to happen when I get there. So like I said, it's just uh, me trying to be prepared for any situation that happens so yeah i got me like a little bag here for my trash i got my backpack um all my camera equipment's under here and then like my gps plugins and everything down there um got my cb but everything pretty much that i have in this truck will fit in that backpack and that's basically all i will have to carry and lug around you know to go get an uber and get out of the truck and everything else man so it is all cleaned out nothing up there like manuals for the truck and uh lights that aren't mine they were in here before um paperwork stuff permit book um hazmat and safety books i got a new garmin Dezel 200 headset this thing is a beast too dude it is so comfortable the noise canceling is way better than this one right here this is my old one and it was way cheaper and i upgraded to this uh Dezel 200 this thing is way better this one was way too low it was hard for me to hear whenever i was talking on the phone to people it was really hard to hear so i was like well if i'm gonna get a new gps i'm gonna go ahead and get a new headset too but uh, this Dezel 200 is pretty sweet, man. It's way more, com this one hurts my head after a while. Like it digs into it, the padding isn't good, but this one has really good padding. It's a lot louder. 
Um, but yeah, I just really like this one a lot better. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. This is an old Rand McNally one, what I was using since I started basically. But uh, yeah, that one's gonna get pushed to the side for this one for sure. Um, but yeah, so Dave's all hooked up with new gear, man. <laughs> I needed it though. Everything was like two years old. That headset was two years old. That old, this old GPS here was, this old GPS here was two years old and it's tiny. So as you can see, it's a big difference in uh, these two. But this thing, man, it was tried and true though. It worked, it worked really well. But yeah, I needed something better, dude. So anyway, sucks I just got them right before I uh, left CFI. But for the next job, I'll definitely use them for sure. Anyways, guys, we're gonna continue on to Taylor now. Oh, here comes DOT. Here comes DOT. Oh no, he's getting behind me. Oh no. What's DOT doing? Uh oh. Uh oh. Put my seatbelt on, man. Why is he behind me? Oh no. Oh no. He's checking all of our truck plates and everything, man. He's checking mine now. Don't tell me on the last couple hours I got going to Taylor that Ohio DOT is gonna get me, man. Go up here like, sir, excuse me, we're gonna do an inspection. I mean, I did a pre-trip this morning, everything was good, but why is he here? Why is he behind me, man? This makes me nervous. I don't make a great last video, though, won't it, boys? I don't want to, like, leave, like, right when he just got behind me. I mean, I know I can, but I don't want to. Because, I mean, he just got behind me. <laughs> It'll look suspicious. I'll look sus if I just leave, won't I, guys? I'm hoping he'll leave first. I'm hoping he'll just go about his merry way, and then old Dave could just go on about my merry way. Thank God I got this nice 4.8 series trailer. This thing's nice. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I don't know, boys. Maybe he's just hanging out. He's just taking his break, right? <laughs> DOT's taking his 30-minute break. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm about to go after this flatbed. We're just going to chance it, boys. All right. All right. Here we go, boys. He's going to see the brake lights when I push in my thing. All right, lights are on. Oh, God dang it, as soon as I was about to go, freaking rail's going. <laughs> it's like all the trucks are filing out. It's like, oh, no, police are here. Staying back there. <laughs> Let's go, boys, run. I'm full throttle. Full throttle Kenworth T680 action. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming after. He's going to pull me over, man. He's going to pull me over. I know. I, this, you know, this is just going to be my luck. Man. My very last day going to Taylor, I'm going to get pulled over and inspected. God bless America. Why is he coming this way? Was he like waiting for me to leave to pull me over? Nope, he's going to the left. Yes. <laughs> he's not going to pull me over, hopefully. I don't know. Oh, he's got his blinker on. He's going to hit the median. Okay. Why you got to scare people like that? I feel like they do that on purpose, man. <laughs> Why you got to give me a heart attack like that on my last day, man? I ain't trying to get pulled over. I still ain't been inspected yet. I thought it was for sure going to happen today. I was like, man, it's just my luck. It's over with. Okay, we're good, boys. <laughs> On to freaking Taylor. <laughs> uh, Tim called me back, and he did say that they got me a rental car, so that'll be nice. I will be having a rental out of Detroit Airport down to where I live, so I'm pretty excited about that. There's downtown Toledo right over there. Can't really look at it right now, boys, but she's right over there. That's what she looks like. And uh, Billy Joe is actually dropping her truck off in uh, Taylor as well. And uh, Tim said that they should be able to get her rental car tomorrow. So we should both be taken care of. That's always nice. Both be able to get back home. 
and then she's gonna come down to my place and we gonna take off to Utah soon man the Jeep and the camper we're gonna do the skydiving we're gonna go to Moab we might go to some national parks might run up to Wyoming and try to go to Yellowstone never been there in either one of us maybe go see the geysers or something I don't know man we gonna do all sorts of stuff though it's gonna be fun Right here, truck entrance, yep, this is it. Oh, do we have a badge now? Last time it was just open, or did somebody buzz me in? I don't know. I'm assuming they'll just open the gate for me. Oh, it's a CFI carrying a UPS trailer. Let's see. No personal vehicles beyond this point. I don't, okay, yeah, they just opened it for me, sweet. That'll work, man. This could be the last time that Dave ever drives a CFI truck. What am I gonna do with myself, boys? What are we gonna, we're we gonna do a straight back for the very last back, we're gonna do a little straight back. <laughs> I think we should do a little straight back. Oh yeah, there's plenty of spots. Does it matter? Trailer, I don't think it matters left or right, does it? I don't think it does. Shoot, is it Heartland over there? Oh yeah, because Heartland bought us. A lot of people keep asking about that, but ain't none of my business. Heck, I don't know. Long-term tractor parking. Oh yeah, that's probably where I'm gonna park my tractor then. Did they have that last time or did they just pay that? I don't remember seeing that, man. I don't remember seeing that at all. I didn't see any signs for where empties go. We're just gonna straight back it next to this Transport America here is what we gonna do. Yep, that's exactly what we gonna do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very last back in CFI, man. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? <laughs> Very last back. Did I set it up good? Oh yeah, I set it up. Oh yeah, I set it up good right there, baby. Oh yeah. This is it, boys. This is it. We gotta move over a little bit here to the right. Give her some juice for the last bag. We got the pedal to the floor. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Listen to them horses. Listen to them horses. Maybe we'll have more horses at the next company I'm with. I don't know. Hopefully. Skirp. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. I think that's good. I think. It looks, eh, back a little bit more. Back a little bit more. Okay. Oh, there's a strip. I don't think I'm back. Let's check, let's check. We gotta make sure we care about our job on our last one, boys. Oh, wow. Abs bro, what better way to end it all than dead center on the concrete strip? Let's go. We about to enter a whole new Riding with Dave chapter, boys. Did I pull the red? Let's just, let's just. Yeah, I pulled the red. This time isn't as sad as last time. <laughs> last time was a little more sad. I made it a little bit more sad. This time, ugh, I'm actually kind of excited what the future holds, man. I'm a little more excited. Be honest, witches. Got all my tools out of here too. I have my tool bags and everything. Um, gonna leave a couple straps because that's what we're, was in here when I got it, and they're not mine. So leave the straps in here. Fifth wheel puller. I'm just showing that everything's in here. Windshield wash. Um, oils over there. Coolant. The broom. There's another fifth wheel puller way over there. I don't know, I got two, because I got one in orientation and then one came in the truck. Fire extinguisher. So there, everything's in here. Everything's in here, man. <laughs> That's that. All right. Last landing gear roll down on a CFI trailer. Maybe, who knows? Maybe I work for a different company and they tell me to go pick up a CFI trailer somewhere. Who knows? Leave that gap, boys. 
Oh yeah, perfect. Good little gap there. Wanna do a little walk around, make sure she looks good. All right, guys, everything looks good. Landing gear's down, hose is disconnected. All I gotta do is release the fifth wheel. We gonna go over there and park in the long-term tractor parking, cause that's probably where she's gonna go. staggered out i guess i'll stagger mine out too huh boys we'll just go ahead and stagger her out <laughs> uh, perfect whoop right there There we go. <clears throat> Let's get a little thumbnail of this moment. What should I do? Maybe I'll go ahead and like put my head on the truck like I'm sad. <laughs> Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name. Now it's time for us to escape Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown